funny. <laughs> All right. So, what on earth am I thinking? This thing is huge and heavy and needs repairs and is absolutely filthy. Hi, welcome back to Creep Designs by Twitch. Okay, so I'm currently working on four, I have up two fingers, currently working on four um, Chinese antique pieces for a commission job, a rather large commission job. And I decided because there's so much work involved in the restoration of those pieces that I'm going to do them one at a time. And in between doing the Chinese pieces, I'm going to do something simpler. That's not simpler. Um, so that I'm not, I don't end up down in a funk and so that I'm not constantly using um, paint stripper week after week after week. Anyway, it, just, it also breaks up the monotony of doing the same thing constantly. So, yeah. Um... So like I said, the plan was to do simple pieces. I don't know what happened with my thought process and why I thought this would be a simple option. It's not a simple option. I just, it's either that or another piece I've got here, which is actually simple, but it's like borderline boring and it's not a very nice piece of furniture. So I didn't really want to do it yet. But anyway, um, I'm going to try and keep this as simple as possible. Famous last words. <sighs> All right, anyway, I rub it on too much. So let's just go have a look at it. Pretty sure all of the front of this is fine. Um, but the back of it, um, this part is loose and it should just be a case of reattaching it. Oh, wow, that is a lot looser than I thought. Um, should just be a case of reattaching it, but there's not really a lot there. I don't know. We'll see. I should be able to reattach it, but um, I want to figure that out first before I go any further with it. Uh, this part, there's a bit broken off there. Hopefully it'll just be a case of some Bondo action. Uh, this part is wobbly. There's a piece missing from over there. That bit is broken. I might just, you know, recreate that from an, another piece of wood from somewhere. How beautiful is that? Look at this. There's beading along here and that detail. I love it. We, I really don't want to have to get rid of this part. And the mirrors, these parts gorgeous um so we've got a finial we've got a finial here that one's fine um uh, the one from that side is missing i don't know if i'm going i'll either take it out completely and just leave that like that and fill the holes in or I'll try and recreate this using Bondo. I'm not sure. Um, I know I can order them online from Hammersmith. because I'm going to interject here. I do not end up buying more finials. I end up replicating it using Bondo. And I'm not showing it here because otherwise the video would end up too long. But there is a video and I'll put the link for it in the description. I've ordered them before for chairs that I did ages ago. But I don't want to have to do that. Like maybe I can just leave the holes open, do everything else and then come back to this later. If the Bondo thing doesn't work, but I'd like to try and do it with Bondo first. It'd be a neat trick. And, oh, there's holes up there too. So I'd say there's finials missing from up there as well. 
Um, I might just leave those ones though and not bother with the finials for there. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything else. Oh, that one's a bit broken, so I'd have to fix that. The handles for the drawers. So it's got that part there. Same on this side. But it looks like, oh, it helps if I actually show you. It looks like someone has taken two separate handles pedestal handles there's one behind this so this pedestal this drop part here is through that somehow I don't know how they've managed to do it but they have um, and it looks like these aren't the original handles because there's two little nails there. So I don't know what's going on, but they're going to have to go because they are broken. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. We've got one, two, three. We've got four handles that are in good condition and two that are busted. I've got this part here that was in one of the drawers. But they're missing the thing in the bobs. I think there might have been one of those in there, but there's no point in me fixing one of those two if I can't fix the other one. So unfortunately, these handles that I love so much are gonna have to go. But if I can salvage these, I can use them on something else. Those will not get thrown out. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, so I made a decision recently to stop showing all of the cleaning process and all of the repair process in every single one of these videos because the videos just end up being too long. I'll explain it in this one, um, but I also explain it in a separate video where I show my cleaning process and I will link that in every video description for anyone who wants to easily find it. But I promise I do give this piece a really good scrub with Cartamelli Clean Cut, then go over it with clean water. Have you ever seen so much Bondo? Bondo, Bondo, Bondo. Well, not really Bondo. Builder's Bog. Bondo. Bondo! Bondo! Bondo. So I filled these holes on the top of the dresser with Bondo, but these are the holes that are gonna be underneath where the top part goes on, so you won't see them when the top is finished. The reason I filled them is because I find that on dresses like this, like these really old shonky looking ones when you put go to put the screws back in sometimes the hole has been you know stripped out and it doesn't have enough to hold on to so putting the bondo in there will give it a little bit of bite i guess so i'm sanding the parts with bondo down a bit first with i think it's 180 grit sandpaper and then i'll sand the entire top back with 80 grit the reason I'm not going straight in with the 80 grit is because I find that 80 grit can sometimes pull the bondo out of the hole and take tear it out in chunks, which is why I start with a finer grit first. So I continued with 80 grit sandpaper here. Then I went down to 120 grit sandpaper. and then 240 grit sandpaper. And then I finished off by hand sanding with 400 grit sandpaper. Once I finished sanding the top, I then went over the entire body and drawer fronts with 180 grit sandpaper, just to knock down all of that Bondo and get everything nice and smooth. 
For the top of this piece, I've gone with Cartamilli Washed Away Stain in the colour How Now. It's one of my favourites to use. It's a water-based stain and is super easy and hassle-free to use. As soon as that was touch dry, I went in with Katza Millie Satin Top Coat. I usually roll this on lately because I get such a smooth finish, but you can also brush it on like I am here. I'm not being overly pedantic about it, and I'm still going to get a really nice smooth finish. After putting on a second coat of clear coat, I then rubbed in some Cartamilli hemp oil and then sanded that in, wet sanded that with 400 grit sandpaper. It is finally time to start priming and I'm using Cartamelli Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond in grey. So you've got a white primer and grey primer. Typically you'd use this under something darker. I'm hoping this works well under the colour I'm going to be using. You'll understand when you see it. Um, and for cutting in I'm using my Eco Brush in size 12. And I'm using my Unipro 55mm brush for the larger areas and I've got my primer in a pickle jar.
Okay, so I did a little bit of a guessing game on Instagram and Facebook to see if people could guess what colour I was going to paint this piece. I think only two people had a guess and both were wrong. So this is the colour we're going for with this piece. So let's see how this goes. Coat number two. Okay, I would have filmed a lot more of the painting process, but when I came back to it the next day to continue painting, it was 35 degrees Celsius and my phone kept overheating, so I had to just take it out of its phone case and leave it alone. But here we have it, looking pretty schmick. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Let's get on with it. Okay. So I've decided that the top needs to be darker and it's been bugging me and I have to change it because otherwise I'm just not going to be happy with it. So as much as I love it, it does need to be darker, I think, to go with the red. So I've covered all of this with this stuff because I don't want to damage any of the paintwork because I don't have any red paint left and I don't want to have to clean any dust or anything out of it so I'll get this done and come back. So in a bid to keep this video from getting too much longer than it's already going to be I will be doing a smaller separate video showing my technique for the top of this piece and I will when it's finished I will put the link in the description of this video and vice versa. That's more like it. 
So as much as I love the vibrant red and how it's turned out, I needed this piece to be darker. So to do that, I'm using Cartamelli Mineral Paint in the color Black Bear, watered down, and I'm just kind of stippling it on and then blotting it off. There was a lot of back and forth with technique. Sometimes I blotted on, sometimes I brushed on, sometimes I wiped it off, sometimes I stippled it off. Um, and in some spots I went over it with just straight paint that wasn't watered down and dabbed that off to give it a bit more darkness in some spots. So I ordered these handles from Amazon and I'll put the link for them in the description. I wanted something that was a brass cup pull but something that was a bit more elegant. These ones are quite heavy and feel absolutely amazing. These two little knobs that I'm going to use on the smaller drawers were ones I already had and I just used some rub and buff on them to try and match them. The insides of the drawers were kind of crappy looking, so I'll be using this gift wrap to line the drawers. So I basically just cut the pieces to size, folded the edges under, and then stuck them down with double sided tape.
Okay, so this was supposed to be my simple piece in between doing restoration pieces. <laughs> that didn't happen. Famous last words. All right, so before I pack up, I'm completely done with this. But I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported me and my channel throughout this year. I know it's not the end of the year yet. I know it's not Christmas yet. It's only the 2nd of December, but, you know, Christmas theme piece, uh, whatever. Uh, it's the end of the day, so I'm a bit nutty. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout this year. It's been rough, but thank you so much. And I hope everyone has a bang up Christmas and you get everything you want. Ask for tools. Tools are a great present. Um, yeah. All right. Well, See you on the next one. Don't forget to check the description for everything used in this video, as well as my Amazon wish list and my buy me a coffee link and all of that jazz, everything. It's all there. Um, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> all right. See ya.